So as each year goes by, the NBA is becoming more diverse and more international players are taking over the sport. You have reigning MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's from Greece. Reigning Defensive Player of the Year Rudy Gobert, who's from France. Reigning Most Improved Player Pascal Siakam, who's from Cameroon. And reigning Rookie of the Year Luka Doncic, who's from Sylvania. So you get the point of that. And today's video is going to be the All International Players Rebuild. So today's video is sponsored by Audible. No matter what your resolution or goal is this year you'll find the perfect audiobook at audible to motivate and inspire you whether it's getting financially fit either it's getting physically fit or just being a better person it's on audible and to help motivate you audible is issuing a challenge to current and new members finish three books by march 3rd and get 20 dollars in amazon credit it's that simple finish three books by 3 3 march 3rd and you get 20 dollars. it's that easy there's nothing to enter audible will keep that progress for you audible members can choose three titles every month month one audiobook and two exclusive audible originals to listen to and you can't hear those anywhere else you can listen on any device anytime anywhere at the gym on the road in your office it's that accessible i have my own url code that you can use in the description it's audible.com slash six that's the number six letter i and then the letter x that gives you a 30 day free trial you can choose one audiobook and two audible originals for absolutely free that's audible.com slash uh, six or you could text six number six letter i letter x to 500 500 you can see it on the screen now i also listened to the making of a billion dollar athlete by brian windhorse on audible and as you can guess it was about lebron james remember to check out the code in the description below thank you to audible for sponsoring today's video so yeah today we are gonna do a fantasy draft and i can only draft players that are or that have been born outside North America. So I'm not going to do Canada because I feel like it's just more part of the U.S. than some of these other places. And yeah, we're going to try to win a championship. So we are going to do a fantasy draft. So I'm going to randomly select our team. And the team we are going to be getting is the, let's stop it in three, two, one, the Milwaukee Bucks. Hey, that's fitting for Giannis. Now I want a top 10 pick so I can either draft Luka, Giannis, Jokic, or Embiid. Because it is hard to trade for those guys. So let's see. Can 2K give me some luck? I forgot to do a fantasy draft. Hold on a second. All right, let's do this again. So, do we have a topic in the draft? We don't have top five, which sucks. Yeah, Luka goes one. Giannis will go two. So, those are two of the players I wanted already. Uh, we don't pick till, of course, we're not going to be picking uh, till like 19, whatever that said. All right, so maybe Yo did a beat get drafted? Oh, yeah, we're screwed here. All right. So, guy, the guy we're going to have to probably draft here is probably going to be Pascal Siakam. Oh! Okay. So yeah, Ben Simmons is from Australia. We could draft him. We probably will draft him. The next best guy is Rudy Gobert or Pascal Siakam. We're going to hope that one of these two players fall into the second round. If not, uh, Clint Capella is probably going to be the best guy here. But we'll get to that when it comes. Or Nikola Vucevic. So I'm going to draft Ben Simmons with our first round pick. Now we're going to advance here. Hopefully Gobert or Siakam falls. Probably not going to happen. Oh, Kristaps just went. He would have been nice. All right. Now, we get Rudy Gobert. So, we have a nice, probably front court. Ah, we could play Simmons at the one. So, we have Simmons and Gobert. I'll take that. So, the next player I'm going to draft is Buddy Heald, who is from the Bahamas. I'm going to count that. I'm going to draft Buddy Heald here with our third round pick. With our fourth round pick, we are going to take Goran Dragic, but I'm probably going to trade him once this fantasy draft is over. RJ Barrett. Ah, uh, no. He's from Canada. I don't know why I thought. Nope, never mind. Our fifth round pick is going to be Ricky Rubio, who will have some nice trade value. And if he doesn't fit with Ben Simmons, which he probably won't, we could move him. Oh, uh, and then, yeah, we're going to take Serge Ibaka here uh, with our next pick. Unless, you know what? I'm going to go Sekou Dubuya, who's from um, Dubuya, who's from France. Uh, I think I'll have a little bit more trade value. Or we can go Bol Bol. You know what? I'm going to draft Bol Bol here. And then I'm going to take Goga Batatse, who will have some nice trade value as well. Next pick is going to be Thomas Sadoransky. My ninth round pick is going to be Joe Ingles, another Australian player. We're going to take Marcus Gasol next here. You know what? If I can't trade him, he'll be a petty free agent anyway. In the 11th round, we are going to take Boban Marjanovic. Maxi Kleba in the 12th round. We have two more picks here. And those two picks are going to be one, Nicole Melli, and two, Raul Neto. So come drafting time, I can really only draft a couple players like Denny Abdiha. We could also draft Theo Maladon or Killen Hayes. All right, so we are going to look at some petty free agents here. 
So that is Marcus Saul, Gore, Dragic. I'm probably going to look to trade both those guys for some foreign players. Everybody else will probably be back next year, maybe besides Raul Neto. Um, or at least we'll have them going into the offseason. So if I'm looking to move Gasol, can I get anything valuable? If we were doing Canada, I could get Tristan Thompson, but we are not. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pick up Patty Mills, or I'm going to look to see if there's any other offers. And there wasn't, so Patty Mills, I will probably trade him for a draft pick on draft night because he is under contract next year, and he is from Australia. All right, I'm going to try to move Gore, Dragic, and Nicola Melli for Devonta Sabonis and James Johnson. They don't want to do that. What about if I throw in a first-round pick? Oh, I forgot to put it on. Everyone keeps throwing draft picks. I'm stupid. This chain might not work out because Sabonis is a lot more valuable than Gore and Dragic. Yeah. So, you know what? We'll just keep the team out Let's see the rotation. So, this is what they're going to roll out. Season 1 is just an experiment year. Obviously, we'll play um, Bobo more next year. And then I'm going to send Goga to the G League. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number 1 where we are number 14 um, in the preseason power rankings. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number 2 one so yeah who knows maybe in 2021 we'll have Cavs face to sign Giannis but in year one we go 40 and 42 so I doubt we made the playoffs so Giannis wins MVP John Morant rookie of the year Reggie Jackson six man defensive player of the year goes to Kawhi Trey Young averaged 35 and that's funny that he's on the Mavericks and Brad Stevens gets coach of the year oh Young got most approved forgot to say that so yeah we didn't make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference which is all right I mean do we oh, I don't even think we have our draft pick yeah, I'm stupid and I forgot to turn those on or that on. Did the Pacers make the playoffs? They did. So that ended up hurting us. So we're going to have to make a trade. So let's see who did well. Ben Simmons was a beast. 22 and a half points, seven rebounds, five and a half assists. Still didn't hit a three. Uh, Buddy Hield was solid. Since he doesn't really like hit that all-time high in 2K, like he's not going to be a 90 overall. We could look to move him, but I just don't know who to get from. Maybe we can do a blockbuster move him for like, I don't even know yet. Uh, Goran Dragic wasn't bad. Maybe I'll do a, or he wasn't bad. Maybe I'll do a sign and trade, something like that. Gobert averaged a double-double and four blocks a game? What? Rubio averaged seven. It says he'll have some nice trade value. There's Mills, Ingles, Sadoransky, and then we're going to have Bull Bull next year, and we'll have Batate, who's a 79. So Giannis and the Wizards win it all, and yeah, uh, Giannis is your final MVP. They also have John Wall, Lou Williams, DeAndre Hunter, DeLon Wright, Kenneth Fareed, RHJ, Gorgie Zhang, Roddy Hood, and then Kyle Anderson. They beat the Lakers, who had Alec Burks, Serge Ibaka, Clay, Aldridge, Adams, Beverly, Iggy, and is that Danny or Jeremiah? It's Danny. All right, so Jeff Lottery, this is about to be just a mess. So, wow, never mind. We just got lucky and got the number one pick in the draft. Oh, I wish I see where I wish I saw where we were before going into that. What? Okay, we also have 22 in from Indiana. We went 40 and 42. I want to see where that would have been before the lottery started. So we had the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We had the 13th pick going into the lottery. That's insane. We might have had 12 due to tiebreakers, but hey, I'll take it. I could, I think I'm going to try to get Denny of Dia anyway, but not with that pick. Now we can maybe make a blockbuster trade. Okay. I'm interested in getting Kristaps Porzingis, 100%. We can also pick up uh, pretty much nobody else that's, like, mind-blowing besides Kristaps that's a foreign player. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do some sorts of this trade. Actually, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do one Ricky Rubio, Sadoransky, M22 for Kristaps and Levert. And then I'm going to move Levert for hopefully a top-10 pick to either get Maladon, Killen Hayes, or Denny Abdiha. So, yeah, they accept this trade. Now, if we look at our team... I mean, Ben Simmons could be our point guard, obviously. Uh, we have a Gobert and Kristaps front court, so we definitely need some wings. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to move Karis Levert for maybe, like, uh, I could probably get a top 10 pick. All right, let's see if they'll do Levert for pick 7 at Golden State. They don't want to do that. I will throw in, like, a Nicola Melli if he's under uh, contract. Or Boban. No. What about if I throw in a Maxi Kleba? No? Okay, what about if I finally throw in a Nicola Melli? There we go. So, we have pick seven in the draft and i'm either going to take maudon hayes or denny of Niha. okay i just drafted a point guard now i'm going to see if i could trade patrick mills for pick 12 to the pelicans they don't want to do that what about if i throw in like two second round picks what about if i throw in three second round picks what about if i throw in four second round picks okay hold on i am also willing to give up joe ingles so can we do this like for that okay might have to go lower than 12 all right, 14 to the Nets, uh, or Patrick Mills to the Nets for pick 14. I'll also throw in a second. All right. All right, kind of upset. Denny MD have literally went pick 13 right before I was about to draft, so I can't take him. 
So with the seventh pick, I took Theo Maladon, and then with the 14th pick, I took Amar Sila. He's from Spain. Maladon is from France. So we're obviously going to bring back Bull Bull here. So actually, I probably don't even need to move on from Buddy Hill. If we look at the squad, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Seal will probably be a G League guy. So five, six, seven, eight. All right, I just kind of need to sign one more player. I'm thinking make a small forward. All right, so I'm going to try to sign Goran Dragic back and then look to trade him for a small forward. So we do get Dragic back. And then I'm just going to try to move him for a starting small forward. I don't know who that will be, but let's hope it's somebody solid. All right, I just signed Rage on Rondo, and I'm going to try to do Goran Dragic and Rondo for Evan Fournier. I will also throw in a future first round pick as well. They don't want to do that. I mean, I could throw you three seconds, but that's about it. I don't want to give up a more Sima. Okay, so we get Evan Fournier. He will be playing a little bit out of position. Actually, we might start Ingles, but play him like 20 minutes tonight and then get 48 a lot of minutes off the bench. But he is he is the same height as Ingles, so you know what? We'll probably start 48 to 3. Maybe. I don't know yet. All right, so we do have three free camps available. Let's see who I want to send him to. I think I want to send it to Theo Maladon, who I don't get a lot. He's got eight potential. We are going to send it to Chris Porzingis, and then we are going to wrap it out with maybe Bull Bull. Yeah, why not? All right, guys, so here's what the rotation is going to look like. Ben Simmons, Buddy Heal, Joe Ingles, Chris Stops, and then Gobert. With a bench being Evan Fournier, Bull Bull, Batate, and Maladon. And then I'm going to send Amar Sila to the G League. System proficiency, defense is three and a half stars, so we'll stay with that. Probably will be changing it next year. And then our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is 20. I think we'll be better than that. I think we're going to have our first playoff appearance of the video, and I'll see you guys there. There we go. At the end of year two, we go 56 and 26. Troy Young MVP, Lamelo Rookie of the Year on the same team. Damn. Uh, Marcus Chris, Sixth Man of the Year, Kawhi Defensive Player of the Year, Maxi Kleeb, the most improved former Buck, and then Ricardo gets Coach of the Year for the Mavericks, who went 64 and 18. So the Mavs were a one seed in the Western Conference, but hey, we were the one seed in the Eastern Conference. In year two, we're taking on the Pacers in round one, who have Fred Van Vliet, Kevin Herter, Daniel House, Collins, Jokic, who I would have loved to have on this team, Zubats, Holiday, PJ Washington, Lopez, that young Tyreek Evans. So yeah, let's take a look at the player sets for year two. Kristaps was our leading scorer, about 22 points a game, seven and a half rebounds, 38% from three. Good season from KP there. On the offensive side, uh, how many blocks did he have? About two. Ben Simmons, 19 points, seven rebounds, eight assists. I'll take that. Still hasn't hit a three, though. Buddy Hill, 16 and a half points, four rebounds, three and a half assists, and shot 37 from downtown. 93 from the line as well. Evan, 48, 15 and a half points, and was almost 50, 40, 86. He was actually, yeah, technically 50, 44, 86. That's incredible. Uh, also, three assists tonight. Bull Bull, 12 and five off the bench. I don't think we'll have his burn rights, unfortunately, going into free agency. There's Gobert, 10 and a half points, 11 rebounds a game. Goga Batatse, Theo Maladon, five and five, okay. Got some work to do. And then there's Ingles. And yeah. So round one here against the Indiana Pacers. Don't lose in round one. Come on. Bruh. Really? All right. Whatever. I guess. We're, I guess we're a year three team anyway. Maybe I'll make a move. The Minnesota Timberwolves win it all. Steph Curry's your finals MVP. They had Curry, Rudy Gay, Drew Holiday, Justice Winslow, Demonta Sabonis. All right. So in those seven games, let's see who didn't play well. So I can have a scapegoat. Buddy Hield actually played amazing. Uh, Chris Stops played well. Damn. Maybe go bear. We look to move. I don't know. I, I probably can't get, unless I package like Patate, go bear, and like Bull Bull, which I don't even think I can, to maybe get like a Jokic or a beat, even though I still think that's pretty not likely to happen. So yeah, I don't think we have our first round pick in this draft. It is going to go to the Cavs at pick 27. I think that's from the George Hill trade from last year in real life. So I'm going to fire our assistant coach and pick up the guy with the best ratings. Otis Newman. Now we'll pick up Owen Taylor. Does our assistant GM need to go? Now he's all right. All right. So in this draft, I don't even know if there's any top forward guys off the top of my head. So I don't know if like any of these guys are from another country, but I don't think so. I'm guessing this guy is not American. Uh, he's from Senegal, so he could be somebody, but I don't think we're going to have that good of a pick. Yusma Garuba is also from Spain. All right. So we're Mercure Maker. I don't think we're going to have the assets to get a top 10 pick anyway. I mean, we could, like, package, like, Evan 48, Buddy Hill, but who's, like, the best shooting guard that's a forward player? Oh, okay, they're counting Luka as a shooting guard in this, so it would technically be him, but he's pretty much impossible to trade for. So, yeah, it's really nobody here worth an upgrade. At small forward, we're kind of screwed as well, unfortunately. So, let's go to team player options. Oh, Gobert's a free agent as well. I don't think we'll have a back spot, slot. Uh, 
I for Giannis. Is he here? Giannis is even here. That sucks. All right. So yeah, Gobert, we're gonna bring back. Uh, also, Bobo, we actually have bird rights on him. So I'm gonna offer Gobert a boatload of money just to make sure he comes back. And then I'm gonna offer Bull Bull like 12 million a year, and we get them both back. Both back, not both. I, I'm congested a little bit. I apologize. Ah, crap. I'm an idiot. I forgot. I'm not supposed to sign Bull Bull before. Ah, uh, more Tory meds, and he's gonna be on a one year deal. I'm so stupid. All right, so I think I'm going to run it back, but I kind of want to move on from Cho Ingles. And, like, I don't mind packaging him and Amar Sila for something, but I just don't know who to get. All right, I'm going to try to give up Joe Ingles, Amar Sila, um, and oh, do I have to give up a draft pick for Demonta Sabonis? Okay, let's see if I offer one first. Two first? Please do this. Three first round picks for Demonta Sabonis. I know I overpay, but he's like the best guy I'll get. And I think this team is set. I think this is the final squad. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I'm going to send Bobo on top potential. We are also going to send Batatse and probably Theo Maldon, our three youngest players. All right, guys, so here's the rotation. Ben Simmons, Buddy Hield, 48, Chris Stops Gobert with a bench of Sabonis, Bobo, Theo Maldon, and Goga Batatse. Since the proficiency is three-star defense, but we are going to go to three-and-a-half-star balance. And then our, oh, wow. Um, Bone Holsters, C-plus offense, C-plus defense, B-plus potential. Since when did he get to be a horrible head coach? Is there anybody in the free agency market that's better? Mm, I might go after, like, Logan Schmidt, who has a lot better ratings than Boone. So, you know what? Yeah, we're going to make the fire right before the season starts. We're going to hire Logan Schmidt. So, we're going to go to balance with Logan Schmidt, and then our preseason power ranking is going to be 14 according to NBA.com. I think we can be a one seed again. Let's just hope we don't lose in round one like last year. All right, guys, so we finished season number three with a 59 and 23 record. So the Dallas Mavericks signed Anthony Davis. So I guess that's why they were bad enough to get LaMelo, but good enough to have 64 wins at last year. So they have young LaMelo and AD. They go 62 and 20 this year. Uh, I actually kind of want to see the rest of their team. They have OG and Anobi, and they have Mitchell Rock. Their bench isn't great, but that's still a great team. We are the one team once again taking on the Miami Heat in round one. Who have Lillard, Sexton, Jada McDaniels, and DeAndre Aiden. That's kind of like noticeable. They have Jared Culver, Nasir Widow off the bench. A couple of 2019 first round picks. Let's check out the stats. So, Kristaps went down. 18 points, 7 rebounds. He shot a little 34 from 3. Um, ben Simmons about 18 points, 7 rebounds, 8.5 assists. Uh, Buddy Hield, same pretty much numbers as last year. Just went up at 3 point percentage, which is great. Uh, Fournier was still really efficient. There's Bull Bull, Sabonis, Gobert, Goboga, uh, and Theo. So I honestly have no faith in this team. I don't really think we're that good. But hey, we win in five in round one. We're already off to a better start than last year. So we're taking on Atlanta in round two, who have Kobe White, Bradley Beal, Chris Middleton, Kevin Love. That's a really good one through four. And they have Mo Wagner at the five. Warren, Jermichael Green, Tyler White, and Tyrese Maxey. How's he doing? I got to draft him soon. Uh, he's a combo guard from Kentucky. So please don't lose to them. And we win in six. That's what I'm talking about. And Dallas lost to Denver. All right. So we're taking on Philly, who are the two seed. Uh, they got Marco Fultz. That's funny. Sean Livingston, Mikel Bridges. They have Zion and Cat. Oh, that's fun. Zion and Cat. Their bench isn't that good either. Uh, that's solid. Not great. But yeah, it's pretty much Zion and Cat that have been carrying them. Uh, their 1 through 3 isn't great. I mean, Fultz in this is actually solid. He's actually pretty good. So I'm kind of nervous here. Oh, we're up 3-1. to one. All right, let's go. We win in 5. And we're taking on the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals, who have DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, Pascal Siakam, and Jonas Valanciunas. A couple foreign players I could have gotten there. Um, they have a pretty solid bench in Clarkson, Biamo, Smith Jr., uh, Crowder, at least in 2K. Here are the playoff stats. Kristaps has been our winning scorer, and he's shooting better from downtown and from the field than the regular season. Ben Simmons is shooting 72% from the field and averaging a double-double. Is Gobert averaging a double-double? Ooh. I honestly should start Bull Bull over Gobert, but I'm not going to do that because Bull Bull is shooting 40% from three, but I'm not going to. All right, let's see how this goes. Game one against the Denver Nuggets. We're at home. Come on, don't lose game one. We just got to go off to a nice start here, and we ended up winning by eight. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Benjamin Simmons. Thank you, Evan Fournier, Buddy Heald, and Gordon Hayward was their leading scorer. All right, next game, we're in Milwaukee again. Come on. Ugh, they're going to win this one, aren't they? No, we win by three. I will take that. Bull Bull with a team high 23, and we are up 2-0. Game 3 is off to a good start, and we might be going up 
3-0 on the Nuggets, and yes, we are. Buddy Hill shot pretty horrible from the field, but still ended up with 24 points on zero free throws. Jalen Brown had 30, but that was not enough. All right, we might go for the sweep here in year three over the Denver Nuggets, and it's looking like that is going to be the case. I'll take that. Uh, I do want to hop in and play a little bit with this squad, and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so we're in the game here. Buddy Hill is really tired. Let's get into Ben Simmons, who has 26-9. 20, uh, pull bulls in the game. Let's get a screen here. Alley you Ben Simmons the bull bull. Oh my god, I could do that all night. All right, so Theo Maladon's in the game. He's got a B plus three pointer. Uh, so we got Kristaps and we got bull bull. And I'm guessing Gobert did foul out. Pick and pop here with Kristaps. Mm, not really a good uh ball handling stuff there by Maladon. All right, let's get it again. Pick and pop with KP. Oh, they're gonna bite. Oh, we got the mismatch now. We got KP on whoever that is, but I can't tell. Ben Simmons for three. Come on. It was a good release. Yeah, I got my hopes up. <laughs> All right, Bull Bull has a an A three point rating. That is absolutely insane. That shouldn't even be legal. All right, Bull Bull from way downtown. No good. All right, deal him out on. Let's see if he can get to the rim here against Jalen Brown, and he's gonna get to the line, but he does not get the end one to connect. So yeah, we win the NBA Finals in four. Ben Simmons is your finals MVP. So that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the all international players rebuild. We need a guy from Australia, a guy from Latvia, a guy from France, two guys from France, actually. A guy from Lithuania, someone from the Bahamas, Republic of Georgia, France. And uh, Bobo, I believe, is from Sudan. So we had players from all over the globe. I know a lot of people were asking for this video. So hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for watching. 3P Rebuild Challenge with the Nets coming out next. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.